Well, many of you are probably wondering what Bitcoin is. You've heard the term, you've heard people talking about how they're spending it, buying it, how valuable it is, and you'd like to know what it is. My name is Hannah Zaidi. I'm a journalist at Business Day, and I'm here to try and explain the world of Bitcoin to you. So Bitcoin is effectively a cryptocurrency or a digital currency. Uh, it works through the blockchain. What is the blockchain, you ask? The blockchain is just a distributed ledger that lives on the internet where each block in the chain represents transactions that cannot be duplicated or erased so Bitcoin transa is transacted through the blockchain which lives on the internet in South Africa there are two Bitcoin exchanges where you can buy Bitcoin these are Luno and ice3x one Bitcoin will set you back around two and a half thousand dollars or about 34,000 Rand the price of Bitcoin uh, is a story in itself it has shut up if you bought one thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin in 2011 today that would be worth one million dollars last year alone the digital currency uh, grew by more than a hundred percent so it certainly is very valuable and you can actually spend your bitcoin you can transact using your bitcoin here in SA uh, places such as takealot.com bid or buy even the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital allow you to spend using bitcoin what are the risks? There certainly are some risks. Firstly, it's not regulated by financial regulators. Financial regulators probably don't know quite what to do with Bitcoin, with blockchain, with cryptocurrencies in general, because as is the nature of technology, these things tend to move much quicker than regulation is able to keep pace with. So financial regulators are kind of adopting a wait and see approach. Our own Reserve Bank um, has issued a position paper on cryptocurrency, so they are aware that they exist. But the risk is that it's not regulated. So if things were to all fall apart, there isn't really an authority that you could go to uh, to try and claim back your Bitcoin. Uh, probably worth mentioning that there is no single authority or single person or body behind Bitcoin. Bitcoin is owned by a community of what are called miners, which are effectively technology geeks that contribute processing power to enable the Bitcoin network to function. So the, the currency has risks, but that is probably true of uh, any currency in the world. But yeah, if you'd like to buy a Bitcoin and you have 35,000 Rand to spare, then it might make for an interesting and certainly a very diverse investment.